What is it really like living and working as an artist in rural northern Denmark? In this video, I'll share some behind the scenes and bits from my everyday life as an artist. Springtime is one of my favorite seasons. And I try to make it a point to go out and do some plain air painting as soon as the weather permits. In the middle of May, all the greens are out in full force. And capturing greens is a, a real challenge for me. I um, think green must be the color with the most different shades of them all. Yellow green, bluish green, brownish green. I could probably spend a lifetime just mixing different greens. Do you use green in your paintings? And which is your favorite green? Let me know in the comments if you would like me to make a video on how to mix natural looking greens. This green is really, really bright, but I feel it works very well as details in a larger painting. So this is what it uh, ended up with, these two um, small sketches, and I completely forgot to eat something so I'm gonna eat uh, my uh, lunch and uh, just enjoy the sunshine. A good thing I took the opportunity to paint outside because half an hour later everything looked like this. Here in Denmark you really have to grab the opportunity when you have it, when you're weather is nice you grab your painting supplies and head out because the weather changes so quickly and uh, you never know exactly how much time you have so seize the day uh, grab the opportunity and head out and i'm looking to seal in some of these mixed media marks that i made and um, i think i will use some matte medium for that and um, also uh, get that all fixed before I'm gonna varnish the pieces. Um, if you are interested in knowing more about how you can uh, go about uh, preserving your mixed media marks on your artwork I made a, midi a video about that so I'm gonna leave a link to that at the top of your screen here if that's something you want to check out. Let's get these marks sealed in and a clean brush as well. So let's see here if I can just lay this in on top. I use a Posca marker, a acrylic marker, to sign my name. I uh, always feel it's easier um, than actually drawing or writing my name using a brush. I find it very difficult. Um, I've also sometimes signed just using my initials, um, but this is kind of how I, I ended up these days, uh, simply uh, writing my name uh, my last name on the front of the painting using uh, the Posca marker. I also tend to sign my pieces on the back as well with my full name. But uh, let me know in the description below if you are um, 
how you sign your paintings and do you date your paintings and there we go okay I'll leave those to dry really well another great love of mine besides art is gardening especially my greenhouse it is built of reclaimed and recycled materials and I'm always in awe of just how much fresh food I'm able to produce here every year and around the walls here are tomato plants and some more tomato plants that I want to get in the ground today I also got a few cucumber plants uh, and cucumber plants are actually some of the only ones I buy as plants the rest I make myself from seeds mostly from seeds that I collect from year to year so this one is really beautiful and it is self-seeded in the greenhouse beautiful puppy of course I'm gonna keep it and once it uh, goes to seed, I'll collect the seeds and probably spread them somewhere uh, in the garden. I love uh, basil and I tried out a few uh, new varieties this year. Uh, they don't seem to be doing as well though. From lemon basil, that's not doing too well. And this is like a small leafed. Uh, basil it seems to be doing a bit better and I got a visitor in the greenhouse now hello Fiona hi hey there did you come to help me out huh come to help me out yeah <laughs> It's pretty warm now uh, and I got hungry so I'm gonna take a break but I just wanted to show you this one thing over here. So every year we have two cucumber plants and um, last year we uh, did a race between them so we're gonna have uh, one cu cucumber plant here and another one here. Let's just take a look at the one from last year. This was 2021. And every time we pick a cucumber, we uh, mark over here. So we see that uh, the cucumber on the right actually won the race with two cucumbers. Who's going to win this year? The left team or the right team? So I already signed these paintings on panel, but I wanted to show you a tip uh, on how to better sign your works on canvas. I have a slightly larger canvas here of a painting uh, and of course sometimes it can be difficult to uh, sign uh, because your hand is at an angle when you're signing your name. I use a Posca pen to uh, sign my paintings on the front and also on the back. So um, if I'm just the width of the canvas does it my hand is kind of cramped uh, and it the, I find the signature doesn't get very nice so what I do is I place another small canvas or this is my sketchbook just about the same height here and then I can very easily uh, write my name I convinced one of my friends to make a small corner of his field and turn it into a flower bed for bees and insects. So stay tuned to see how it develops over the summer months.